Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in ba botany, botany, botany manner. This was developed by Balloon Studios, published by Whitethorn Games and is usually available for £20.99 slash $24.99 I believe, but has been included in Game Pass from day one anyway. So we play as Ms. Bottenheimer a German, English, Austrian lady in the 1890s astounding everyone by being in colour for one, uh, but also to do some flower sorting and growing. It honestly is such a chill vibe and it is pretty enjoyable too. Now as for achievements, now none are particularly hard, uh, but the main thing that we have to do is keep an eye out for clues and then we have to put those clues to the correct flower. And we'll do that as we go along rather than at the end. So if you manage to not get something at the same time I do, whether you miss an achievement or whatever, honestly, don't worry, as you have free reign of the house, and you can just go back to whatever you're missing. Either way, this should only take around 1 hour and 20 minutes to around 1 and a half hours to complete. So with that being said, then, let's do it. And here we go, right in the old botany manner of old Somerset. Put your body on the potty. Sorry, god damn it. Anyway, so this is this is us. Obviously, right stick to move your camera, left stick to move, left bumper, you can click once in order to uh, move a lot faster, which is what we'll do. And of course, the A button to interact with things as is the norm. First thing, try to unlock the door and we'll get our first achievement straight away called Let Me In, Let Me In, Not By The Health Of A Chinny Chin Chin. And clues, uh, as you can see now, we are going to be collecting or trying to gather everything that we can as we then interact with the book here. This will actually uh, progress the story. Um, but we will be interacting with everything. Now, not everything is a clue relating to the flowers, but um, it's honestly easier rather than just trying to figure it out. There's not much to collect, so we'll just grab everything that we can. So, press the A button to nip in. It's a bit foggy and yeah. So, we're going to be getting quite a few achievements straight off. So, first of all, to the right, have a look at the blackboard. These are two vital clues. I mean, only vital to an achievement, not really vital for anything else. But if you, well, apparently if you open up the Y button, this is where you will see your book, the Herbarium. But I'll just call it the Flower Book because it's easier. So, as you can see, we got three uh, clues that we need to find, here, which relates to this Windmill Wart Flower. And we've already just got two, the ones on the chalk, uh, the blackboard. So you can then go ahead and press the A button to put those clues in. If we head to the opposite side, you will see a newspaper and a postcard. Now, this is what I mean by not every clue is related to the flowers. This time, uh, case in point, is the postcard. So go down to add clue, put postcard in, and you'll know when you've got it right, when it does that whole flickery light thing. And it's all good. And if you got it wrong, it'll tell you at the top anyway that, oh, I don't have the correct clues. Okay, so have a look on this, uh, well, the, the seed inventory table. You can collect the seeds. This is what we'll be doing for the majority of the game for the story. Collect the seeds, stick them in, job done. And it's going to be the same way that you basically start the plant potting every time. So there is your bunch of plant pots, quite a lot if you need it. So press A to scoop the soil in and then you can put out a seed, which again is the windmill wort, wort. Uh, put the water in then, and then it's sort of a half ass growth. So, in order to grow this one, there's different ways that we're going to grow these flowers. So, this first one, interact with this um, big pipe thing here. Turn this all the way to 60 degrees. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's a boiling boy. Then, pick up the windmill wart, head over to the opposite side, and then put it on the saucer just in front of this heat vent. Open up the heat vent. And that is what will grow your first flower. Now, like I said, we're going to be grabbing a couple of achievements. Plus, there is an achievement for basically putting 12 flowers in the flower room, which is in the next area. So, um, so basically, every time we finish a flower, we're effectively going to go back to this flower room just to place a flower down. But this is your first one done. Obviously, we've got all the clues for it as well, so that is job done. So, uh, what we'll do now is pick it up, turn it around, go back to the inventory seed table, and you can see the compost bin. All you're going to do is 
interact with that uh, to just to put the flower in the bin and that'll get you the in the bin achievement. And then what we're going to do is grow another two of these windmill warts to get the green thumb achievement. So again, you place the you place the empty pot down, see, um, scoop in the soil, put the seed in, then water it, and then we'll go over to this open heat vent again. So that will grow one. Don't bin this one this time. We're just going to place this one onto the side because we're going to go ahead and pop this in the flower room in just a bit. Uh, but after this, go ahead, grow one more windmill wart, and that'll get you the green thumb achievement. Ah, wart. Well, thankfully, it's not the genitalia kind of wart. Ah, that hurts. So I've been told by people on land. I've never had it. And ta-da! Green thumbs, and not from the icky sticky weed, but just from growing flowers, which is nice. Right, so now we can head out of the door anyway. Remember to, we're going to grab one of our windmill warts as well. But first things first, we're going to take a right, and then what we're going to do is just sit on this bench. Uh, you know what, it's effectively pretty unmissable, because um, there's so many seats and benches, but you'll get one achievement for taking a break, just taking a seat. But make sure to stay here for another minute in order to get another achievement for taking a nap. And if I'm taking a nap, it's going to be a lot longer than a minute. Let me tell you. And there she blows, matey. Job done. Right, so once you've grabbed your windmill wart, uh, continue on. This is um, a very linear path. Just go ahead, uh, follow the path all the way down, and then what we're going to do is take a right. Uh, I was just seeing if there was anywhere I could put my flower for now, but it doesn't matter. So if you take a right, we're basically going to end up at the gatehouse part. You're going to have to come back here a couple of times because somebody drops off a key and stuff. But there is the first key in order to get to the entrance garden and you can have a look at the letter and ring the bell but it doesn't actually do anything so head back the way you came head towards the gate this will open up well the gate so we can nip in Ta-da! oh my god this is fantastic for the 1890s right so first things first we are going to head straight up into the entrance manor and we're going to, this is where the flower room is, by the way. On the left, it's literally in the entrance manor to the left. This is the flower room. You can see there's, I think there's 12 empty saucers that we need to fill up. But it doesn't matter. You could literally put 12 of these windmill warts down. Um, it doesn't matter as long as they're all fully full. So that's what we're actually going to go ahead and do. Go back to the uh, conservatory or wherever we came from. Go ahead, grab the windmill wart and head back to the flower room. And pop that one down too. Oh, in fact, no, let's pop the windmill ward right here because we're going to be getting another achievement for it in just a bit. Go ahead and interact with this duck on the windowsill as well. There are five of these ducks to collect throughout the game. Very easily placed though, so don't worry, but that is your first one there. And then once we head into here, this is where the second chapter is going to begin. The survivors of adversity. 
Welcome. Okay, so in this little room then, like I said, in every room, we are going to just grab all of the clues that, or collectible clues, whatever they are, that we can grab. So the first two are going to be just on this table. Again, as I said, not everything's going to count, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So the third one here, just before the room on the right, is just a train ticket. So we'll grab that, and then that is it. So we'll head into the room on the right, and we'll interact with the seeds. Of course, these are the next flower, the Fulguria seeds. It's like Bulgaria, but more full of Geria. Fulgaria. Yeah, uh, Fulguria. Whatever. Anyway, uh, we don't have any clues yet, so don't worry about that. But this will be our first clue if you just interact with... Uh, I believe only one photograph should do, but again, just in case. It's always better to be just in case than safe than sorry. So, uh, well, there we go then. That is the first one done. Photographs. Look at this photograph! Every time I photograph, I laugh. And every time I graph the photograph. Okay, so, head through into the next room. Just, um, in fact, no, let us get the Fulguria plant, sorry, first. So, scoop in some soil. Get the Fulguria seed. Pop that one in, and obviously grab the water. Again, there's a whole bunch of achievements and things that we're going to be grabbing in this next little area. So grab the Fulguria plant and head back through the right-hand side door that we uh, just opened. And uh, we'll be getting a few achievements. Uh, everything will be done in just a moment. So don't you panic, you little bums. Beautiful bums. Heading into the sort of living room area, put the Fulguria plant um, just in front of the photograph. And we're gonna head back out. Take a left and a left again. And we are actually going to go ahead and just grab this windmill ward plant. So there's basically an achievement for taking a picture of the wrong flower, which is why we're grabbing our little warty bags with us. The old bumpy genotype, uh, the old bumpy wart of life. So there's a photograph again here we can interact with. Play the piano. That's going to get us the next achievement actually called Piano Woman. Because And um, we'll collect the key in just a bit, so don't worry about that, because of course we are Mrs. Bottenheim. Uh, so we interact with the two items on the desk here. One is the letter, one is the, like, photo yum-yum stuff. And uh, just on the round table, there's a pair of John Lennon spectacles before he got shot, before he was born, actually. And interact with the paper as well. A couple of places to sit if you want, but let's not bother. Okay, so head back into this uh, dining, what looks like a dining room area. We can interact, as you can see, with the folklore book, and that is it for clues in this area. Then what we'll do from here, uh, oh, there's the Art of Painting book as well, make sure to collect that. So what we're going to do then, leave the flask in, and we're going to put anything apart from potassium and uh, magnesium. So I just went with zinc and whatever it is, um, Go ahead, just make sure that you've either done the same as me or make sure to not put potassium and magnesium in. Pop the wrong combination in, take the picture, and that will get you the boom, boom, boom. Just give me that. I don't care what you got. Just give me that. Boom, boom, boom achievement. Sorry, a bit of skin dread playing there. <laughs> Love skin dread. Okay, so make sure to grab the flask, put it back, and then, uh, oh, you should now have all of the clues from this room in order to put it with the Bulgaria Fulguria. So once that was done, again, I'm doing this from personal experience. Add the clues as you go, because if you're doing it afterwards all at once, yeah, man, it's a old mind flubber. Okay, so this time we're going to do it right. So you're going to put in two parts of potassium and one part of the old Kevin Magnesium. And then we'll grab the flask and put it back in the old camera tingy majigger. Might need to uh, press the A button to open it up. But if not, then we can go ahead and take the picture. Make sure that it is the Bulgarian Fulgarian. And for some reason, you'll know it's right when it actually sparks and booms. And then eventually, there we go. So we should then get the Fulguria, Fulguria achievement. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Now, remember, we do have to uh, grab the achievement here for taking a picture of the wrong photograph as well. So now we can just go ahead and collect the key. This will be for the back terrace. You got a fantastic, I got a fantastic looking back terrace, by the way. 
<laughs> yeah. So uh, we are going to put the flask back. And once again, we are going to do two potassium and one Kevin magnesium. And go ahead and just pop that one back into the photography bit. There we go. Now make sure not to take the picture first. Go ahead and, uh, well, yeah, you will have to pop the flask down somewhere. So I just put it on that little table. Remember where you keep it. Uh, the Fulguria I'm going to keep on this table just before the entrance exit. And then I'm going to grab the windmill wart. Pop that one on the saucer. Close the flash lamp and take the picture. And that is the next achievement we're going to grab called Photographer. So there we go. Right, so uh, what we can do now is with these two flowers, we can go ahead and put them into the flower room just to help us and sort us out a bit. So there's the next one. I'm actually going to uh, make another Fulguria plant uh, just in order to put the two Fulguria plants in the flower room. So uh, hopefully you should know what to do with this one by now. Go and take a picture of it. Two parts potassium, one part Kevin magnesium, and then go ahead and put these two flowers in the flower room. Yes, boy. Here we go. Right. Uh, yeah, interact with your letter from your sister there. Um, so, yeah, I think you've got 12 flowers that we need to put in there. Right. So, next up then, we've got the back terrace key. So, when we get into this big tree main living room area, head to the left, there is a Dartmoor poster that we will interact with first. And if we head down the hallway there on the left-hand side, there it is, is the Pyrophiles book. Yep. That's the only good thing. That's the only good files book. Uh, now the back terrace, sorry, should be right in front of us, which will put us in the Rose Garden. So this will be the Rose Garden. So first what we're going to do is head down, take a right, and then we're just going to head down the end of this terrace, just in order to grab a, another collectible clue book. There it is. It's a lovely manor, by the way. Imagine living in this. It's so posh for the Somerset. Of course, Somerset is in England. Not Italy, so unless there is, and Italians call it the Somerset. Anyway, uh, heading continuing down, there is the seed log to interact with, plus the next set of seeds that we are going to interact with, and this will be the ash plume. Very plumy, bloomy, and ashy. So once you've got the seeds for them, we will continue to head down and take a left. And left again, and you're going to see the letter from Grace. So we'll pick that one up. And then if we continue heading down again, on your left, there is going to be another collectible clue that we're going to pick up. And there it is. It's the kitchen notes. Jimmy, God damn it! breaking mortars. Uh, but make sure to grab the kitchen key while you're here as well. Why these keys are scattered about everywhere, I doi noi noi. Right, so anyway, we're going to head all the way back up. A little left here, a little right. And we are going to head back into the kitchen. Or oh, we're going to head to the kitchen, actually, sorry, for the first time. Just as we um, scoop the soil, plant an ash plume, water that bad boy up. And then it, you know, does that whole little, eh, it's like the one inch type of thing. But once you've got your one inch out, head back into this area, uh, continuing all the way down. 
Taking the right, of course, and you can go ahead and enter in through the kitchen. Like I said, why some of these doors just wouldn't be open anyway, since apparently nobody lives here apart from me. Uh, right, so what we're going to do, take this all the way to the opposite end of the kitchen, pop this one in. This is what's going to uh, in the fire, because this is going to get us the crack achievement. Um, unmissable, because we have to do this anyway. And then there's a book on the middle table, the Kukin Bukin. Roasted chestnuts on a open fire, bruh. Uh, have a look at the religious blessing. Don't think that has anything to do with anything, but it's just in case. And then if we head into the next little pantry room, have a look at the mysterious symbol. This is the priest's hidey hole, which really doesn't give off a good priest vibe, does it? But we'll come back to that puzzle in just a little bit. Um, on the table next to the fire is the Dartmoor Lecture and the Broken Mortar, which Jimmy broke. Because Jimmy, well, he needs a shimmy in the old skimmy with me. Whatever that means. Right, heading into the next little area then. Have a look at the thank you dining card on the table. Once we put the ash plume down. Oh, sorry, it's a romantic card. I want to bash you. I want to bash you with my porcelain duck, huh? What you looking at, bruh? I'm just a duck. Get away. Anyway, sorry. That is the second <laughs> out of five ducks, of course. Um, and now you should have most of the ash plume clues. So you can go ahead and start popping those ones in, if you so wish. Uh, but we will need one more, which is in the next area. So, again, nay panicky both both. Uh, so go ahead. Like I said, make sure you've interacted with the duck. That'll be your second one done. And then head out into the outside area. Take a left and go into the old smoky, smoky bacon hut. Mmm, smokery. Smokery sausage, oh my god. Um, um. The uh, bros, rich bros in the 1890s had it good. Anyway, interact with the smoking buck once you put your ash plume down. Then you can go ahead, that should be the last clue. So go ahead and pop your smoking buck in. And that is job done. But in order to grow the ash plume, what we're going to need to do is, if we head left and back up the steps, there are four different logs that we can grab. The one that we specifically need is the oak log. Go back into the old smoky bacon hut, stick it in, and that is the next one done, the ash plume. And once again, remember to take the ash plume. We're going to go ahead and stick that square in the flower rom. And we have, ooh, we have a little delivery. Right. Get your buns to the gatehouse. Not before putting the ash plume in the flower room, of course. Uh, what do we got here? A note, dear lady groan. My name is Mr. Babbage, and uh, I like the cabbage. Right, okay, whatever. Thank you for the orchard key. I'll take that happily. Uh, right, completely up to you now. Um, the orchard, if you go straight and then take an immediate left before the entrance manor, that's where the orchard is. But I'm just going to go ahead and grow one more windmill wart in order to put in the flower room. Um, but again, this is... Totally up to you. This is just so I don't, uh, you know, I'm just saving a bit of time, not having to do it later. But it's completely up to you if you want to do this now in order to just, you know, hurry it up a little bit.
And as it turns out, yes, let's hurry it up a bit. Right, so heading back into this area, now we're going to take a right from where we just came out of the entrance manor, through this little door, and into the right, it is the Richardo Ochardo. Orchid? Or is it Orchard? I'm sure it's Orchard, isn't it? Yeah. So this is chapter three, where chapter three begins. Job done. So immediately on the left, there's another couple of clues you're going to grab. Dianai EC and the Wolfglove. The old Boddenheimen Wolfgloven, which we will do in just a bit. And we will be growing something else. So if you turn around underneath this pretty little umbrella set of chairs, the, here is the next letter. And to the right is the garden shed. You can see the notes on uh, pot notes. And if you turn around, this is where we're going to grab the... Uh, pixie Tears uh, Seeds. Pixie Tears Seeds, that's what I was after. Okay, so if we take a an immediate lift and go straight underneath this sort of building, uh, you're going to grab uh, one of these microscope slides. It doesn't matter. You don't have to pick all of them. You can just grab one, and that will count as a clue. And then the Tincture of Iodine. And then uh, I'll take a look at the Chloroplaster. Brook, and then there's an archaic mosaic, orchard mosaic on the wall. And just to the right of that is a, another two books. The first one is Priest Holes, which sounds hilarious, but not for little boys who go to church. And uh, the letter from Historian, which is probably pretty much saying, why does a priest have holes? Um, and why does priests have holes? Priests have holes in his holes. It's wrong. Okay, so go ahead and plant the Pixie Tears Seed again. Soil first, then the seed, Pixie Tears Seed, and then the water. We'll grab that, go into the door straight in front of us, just to the right of where we have that little inventory seed collection. Uh, go ahead and just head all the way down. And again, there's a couple of things to grab, but we'll pop this in the saucer first. Uh, so if we turn around, there is a apple thing on the wall. Check out the genital, genital wart apple in the top left-hand corner, which we will need. And then if we go ahead and interact with the back wall thing, here is an apple blending sheet note. And that's pretty much it, I believe, for this area. No, there is a book here as well, just by the bench. The Heritage of Orchardios. Right, okay, so... Um, now, this is where, sort of after this one, it's because we collect a lot more clues before we collect flowers, it starts to get a bit more confusing. So the one that uh, I actually needed was apple blending um, instead of nursery rhymes. So once you pop those five in right there, again, I leave, it, I leave this just for a couple of seconds. So if you want to pause it and uh, follow along, then you're more than welcome to do so, of course. Uh, just makes things easier if you can pause it, of course. Right, so we need a couple of specific apples now. First of all is the genital warted one. Um, so just go ahead and have a look. It should be on the back of the, uh, sort of back of this area. There it is, with those red bumps. Uh, if you do have any red bumps like that on yourself anyway, go and see a goddamn doctor, okay? Right, so next up is like the blue Merlin, I think it's called, and it's in this box. It's a bit of blue on top with a bit of yellow on the bottom. Basically, moldy apple, extremely moldy apple. So pop that one in the cider press as well. And the third one is the, well, it's basically a normal apple with, like, looks like it's got four legs. So it's kind of like a, uh, yeah, I don't know. But pop those three in, interact with the press, and that is what will get you your... Pixie Tears. So, again, make sure that you got the clues all good with the Pixie Tears as well. And then that is another achievement and another flower done. And again, we are going to grab this one and pop this square in the flower room.
Right off to the kitchen we go. And this time, in fact, what we're going to do is head through to the orchard way. First of all. And then we're just going to go ahead, follow this little path around. And on the left here is another letter. This is from Letter from Builder. Oh, Willy Builder. Huh. Willy Builder or Willy Not? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask Willy. Uh, we'll go be going in that tower in just a bit. But next up, uh, have a look at the Tower Wind Research Book. And just to the left of it is the Alpine Exploration. Hopefully it's not the Formula One Alpine Exploration team. Because that'll just teach you how to go slow as hell. So go through the double doors. Now we are into the orange re. And then if we open up the doors, this uh, is effectively a shortcut now into the rose garden if you need it. Uh, go ahead, pick up the key. That's the painting room key, which we'll be going into. And then there are three clues. The first one is here, the note about the stairs. Dear bruh, stairs are broke. Goodbye, bruh. Uh, get the envelope here with stamp, and just to the left of that is a letter from Natty. Uh, now, Natty's versus Roid Heads. There's the big uh, me mega conversation which will go on forever. I'm Natty. No, you're not. You're on steroids. I'm on steroids. No, you're not. You're Natty, you skinny git. Anyway, there's the painting room anyway. So, there is two specific paintings that we have to interact with for the art level achievement. The first one is this painting right here, the botanical painting. So just make sure to interact with this once. That is fine. And then go ahead and interact with every other clue in this room. And we can head out of here. Right, that's us done then. So we're going to take a left now. We're going to head back down to the kitchen, take a left into the pantry, and we're actually going to complete this puzzle and see what dirty, disgusting things the priest has been up to. So make sure to get the number one first and put that on the left-hand side. Then get the five ounce and put that second. Then nine, put that in the third slot. And then three Put that in the fourth slot. So one, five, nine, three. That's going to open up the doors. That will get you the priest hole achievement. And, well, let's see if the priests have been up to anything dodgy. Hopefully we don't find any missing young people. Because, of course, that would not bode well for the priest. But it would explain why he's run away. Uh, but anyway, interact with the letter from the priest. He's just saying, look, sorry, I can't, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't kidnap children. It's not me. And grab the old tufted duck. He's basically the one that watched the priest kidnap the boys and he was threatening to go to the police. And I'm just joking, of course, because not all priests are like that. <laughs> that is the joke. So go into this room. This is the bottom of the orangery stairs. We've collected the seeds. These are the wolf glove. No wolf glove, no wolf love seeds. Uh, so again, interact with a couple of things here. The coin collection, that is one for an important clue. You don't have to interact with them all again, just interact with the one. Uh, the old advert in the bin we will interact with. And if we go to the other side, there's a couple of more coins that you can look at, but again, are not needed as long as you've collected at least one. And then the field trip journal. And that's it for the bottom of the orangery. So if you just interact with the planks, that'll repair the stairs. And that will get you the fixer-upper achievement. So, very good, very nice. We are nice as ice as splice. Ice, 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 baby. Right, so let's get some wolf gloving going. Um, oh, and in fact, yeah, if you put the... If you've already put the six in... Uh, or again, just pause the video or whatever here. The coin collection should be the last one. So yeah, if you just want to go ahead and pause just so you can interact with the clues and pop those ones in, then get that one done. Again, make sure to get them done as you're going along. Uh, but again, soil, put your wolf glove in. And then what we're going to do is head down, take a right. And we're going to go up to the mountain top. And again, this is a little bit of a puzzle here. So pop it in the saucer, interact with the broken and then Anemometer, that's the one. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna move up. And again, this is a bit of a puzzle. So with this first one, what we're gonna do is just open up one. Doesn't matter which one, just open up one of these windows. 
move up again, and then we're going to open up both of the windows. No, we're moving up. Sorry, sorry. Don't open up. I, I got that one wrong. My bad. Now we're going to open up both of the windows on the third level. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, apologies about that one. And then with number four, just open up the both of them again. And that is actually what will grow them. So, half a window on level one. Uh, no windows open on level two. And three and four, open, up, open them up completely for the no wolf glove, no wolf love achievement. And once you've got that one done, make sure to move up at least one more time in order to get the Mountaineer achievement as well. That is for just getting to the very top of the tower. So once you've done that, head all the way back down. And again, make sure to pick up your Wolf Glove of Love. And obviously, we're going to go ahead and put that in the flower rooms. So that's what we're going to go and do next, just to add to Z Collection. Right, so once that one is added, again, if you really want to, you can go and grab a windmill wart in order to put one in the flower room. Uh, I don't bother this time. We're going to go straight to the gatehouse and interact with a letter. So if you were reading and you were really enjoying this, what we're going to do is head upstairs for the first time uh, because we can now... Um, enter the library now that we have the password. So again, back into the entrance, Mana. Hello, Mana Flabber. Taking a right and right again to go up the stairs. And like I said, uh, sorry, I thought there was a duck right there, but it's actually not. So we interact with this and you're going to put in E-A-H. So that's E for Agnes Bognus. A for Agnes Ognus, and H for Hag of Hackett Quarry. Uh, so E-A-H, and you'll get the achievement there, Lock Picker, and in we go to the library. So again, first things first, as usual, have a look in every room just to pick out a few clues. There was a card there, and there's a teaching book here as well. Um, now we're going to go into this room on the right. This is basically the library. And we're going to interact with the secret vault in just a momento. This is uh, chapter four, Botanical Allies. So there are two books, one here. And then if we head down and take a left, there's another book. And yep, that's pretty much about it. So now we're going to interact with these symbols. Now. It's always the same order, so don't worry about that, but make sure to put the sunrise, uh, click in the sunrise one first, then the one to the left of it, which is the fish, and then the one on the very right, which is the rabbit, then the crow, and then the moon, and that will open up the, uh, well, gr big grandma's vault. Job done. Now, just interact with one, any one of these colorful paintings. Um, and that will count as a clue. Then the old newspaper as well. Looks pretty old to me. And then here on the right are the Nightfall Seeds. Now, you can come back if you want, um, but I ended up doing it. I do actually make the whole putting clues to a flower thing a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. But don't worry, because I've uh, sorted it out for you, so you don't have to worry too much. So interact with Grandma's research as well. Pick up the Nightfall Seeds. 
And if you take a look on your left, there is the next key to the study. So let's go ahead and see what's in the study. So we'll back out of here. Now, there's nothing upstairs except for more library. And there's literally nothing up there, so don't worry about that. Into the study room, straight opposite. And again, there are a couple of items that we're going to be grabbing here. So grab them all. Gotta grab him all, grab him on. Right, so we've just picked up some sapphire gloom seeds, and there's only two clues which we will just do immediately here. The first one's going to be tree disease, tree diseases, and the other one is going to be mushroom book. So this one is very easy. So tree diseases and mushroom book, and that's job done. So once we have got that, we are actually going to now. Uh, grow the sapphire, uh, the sapphire, blah, 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 sapphire gloom. So what we're going to do is actually head back down to the main entrance of the manor, basically in the same room with the flower room. And you know the drill, boggity drill, plant saucepan, so not saucepan, saucer on. Plant soil, put sapphire gloom seed in, plant water, and this one is very easy. All we're going to do is pop this sapphire gloom into the next room just by the tree. That will get the tree disease free, and then all of the warts will turn into beautiful flowers. But again, if you do have warts anywhere on your body, go see a doctor. If they do turn into beautiful flowers... Mate, I don't even know what's wrong with you. Just cut them off or something. Uh, so anyway, once that's done and the achievement will unlock, go ahead, pick up the sapphire gloom and make sure to put it back in the flower room. Right on, mate. Now we can finally head upstairs into the bedroom for the first time. So, up we go. Take a left, Mr. Mo. And straight on through, Mr. Pachu. Okay, so obviously a few things we're going to grab here. There's an attic, there's a master bedroom, there's all types of stuff going on. So there's a picture here on the right, the Trapped Fairy painting. There is a letter on the table there, but we'll come back to that. There's also a fern painting. So interact with that too. And then the master bedroom is to the right. So this is where we go in. Again, quite a few things in this room. So make sure to grab everything that you can or interact with everything that you can. Let us head into the bathroom. We're going to get a couple of achievements in here. First one, uh, if we just go ahead and have a look at the plumbing quote. That says, hey, you owe me a tenner, yeah? Uh, just go ahead and flush the toilet. There was a mega tight kind of dookie in there. And we're going to flush that dookie down. Oh, yeah. There it is. Sorry, it took a while to unlock. There it is. Clean and tidy will unlock. Have a look at the bath gazer manual. Uh, geyser manual, sorry, whatever one you want to call it. And then just pick up all the pipes that are in the room. It's not really a puzzle. It's quite easy um, from sort of where it tells you where to go and what to do. So just find all the pipes, pop them in to get the uh, Who Needs a Plumber achievement. I do. Uh, 
And like I said, I do because I suck at DIY. I'd rather pay the guy or the girl, of course. Uh, because generally, girls are actually better than guys, let's be honest. Right, so once you've got that, um, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Go in, uh, we're actually going to scoop some soil, and now we're going to plant the cradle fern. Pop that in some water. Some water. Go into the next room and uh, pick up the cradle fern, and then what we're going to do is... Uh, oh, well, we'll collect the key first. Uh, which is the attic key. Now, on this notice board, there are another two clues, which I don't grab yet because I forget, and I'll grab them in just a bit. But up we go. Uh, we're going to put this cradle fern on the plate, which is going to be behind us, and then you have to just put this, uh, put these songs in a specific order. So ring bell E, then C, then D, then E, then G, then F, and somehow that'll get a flower growing, showing. Man, I'd like to place my hand upon your fucking big bear, please. Run squeeze, tenacious D in my underpants. Anyway, sorry, got got, I got a, a bit of tenacious D in my stuck in my head. But that is how you will grow the cradle fern of life. Make sure to interact with the bird calls. Um note clue as well and that's all there is to it remember to grab the cradle fern as well if you want to go ahead and pop that in the flower room um in or again just to add to that but otherwise head downstairs into this next room grab the letter about melody's clue and the Rizza rivers of summer sir. uh but once we're done again make sure to have a look at the notice board as well to the left of where we are in order to get the next two clues And again, the reason that I've kept this in is purely because I actually get this one right for a change. Uh, so there we go. We've got bird eggs and, well, basically pause it and then put in these clues with the cradle fern in order to get that one going. And then the nightfall, I believe, should now be pretty much down. Let me just double check right here. <laughs> Um, no, it's not done because, of course, we've got the Brook Chalice yet to go. So, um, yeah, let's pop the Brook, the Brook, yeah, so, sorry. So, while we're here, um, we're going to put the Brook Chalice ones in as well. Again, remember to grab the two on the notice boards, the two uh, clues on the notice boards to the left of us from, from which where I was, which I didn't grab. Um, so, uh, there's a letter about weeds right there just before we head into the attic itself. Sorry, could have probably should have edited that last part out there, but that's fine. Uh, there's three things to do with moths here. Trap moths, then moth calendar. I mean, this is a bra that really likes his moths. And then a moths poster. All moths of England and anywhere in the world, especially Australia, deserve to die. Right, uh, because moths suck. They're like the crappier version of butterflies. They're just nothing. So interact with the Sight of Plants book uh, while we're here in the attic. Um, there's another duck up here as well, which I'll show you where it is in just a mo. The dinner invitation note from your Aunt Agnes. The duck here is on the left, so make sure to pick up the mallard, and he's going to be all like, What, bruh? What? Didn't think I can't see you because my duck eyes are on the side? And then the botanist's digest. And then pick up the seeds as well. This is the Brook Chalice seeds. Right, okay. So once you are done with that. So that should be duck number... Four. Four, yeah. Number four out of five, that one. Uh, so you should be on duck four out of five. Now make sure to go ahead and grab this rusted pig. Because we're going to need him in just a minute. Um, uh, Head all the way back to the sort of main area just for the bathroom and the bedroom. Put the rusted pig down. And this time what we're going to do, put a, uh, put a planter down, put some soil in. And again, we are going to plant the brook, brookside chalice. So pop some water in. There we go. And then with the brook chalice, we're going to go into the master bedroom. 
and we are actually going to pop this one into the bath. Go ahead and go back and grab the rusty pig. Uh, if you brought that down with you, um, I put it on the windowsill. If it, if you did, if you forgot or you didn't, it's in the attic. But uh, whatever way, grab your rusty pig. <laughs> didn't mean it that way for once. Pop it in the bath, anywhere in the bath. Uh, pop the bath temperature to a cool 25 degrees. And then go ahead and fill the bath and that will get your Brook Chalice going. So yes, it is actually at this point where I go, oh yeah, I haven't got the two, um, <laughs> two notice board clues. So that is what we will go and grab right now. Um, if Obviously, if you grabbed them earlier, then that's great because now we're going to go ahead and pop in the rest of the clues. There's the government notice one. There is the River Trust one, which is exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and pop the rest of the clues in. Again, if you want to, just go ahead and... Uh, skip a few seconds and then pause it in order to put all of the rest um, of the clues in. So yes, after doing the Brook, Brookside Chalice, the Nightfall ones, <clears throat> excuse me, should be this. Um, should have had the only ones that you had left. So, plant soil, plant Nightfall this time. We're finally going to do the Nightfall one. Put some water in, and then take it upstairs once again to the attic. Now simply pop this one on the plate in front of the projector and again you just have to do this in a specific order. Grab the ones, uh, grab the certain colours. So the first one is going to be blue. So pop that on the left hand side of the projector. And then it's going to be yellow. Now again, even if you're slightly colourblind that's fine because it'll tell you on the bottom what it is. So yellow, then orange, so blue yellow, orange, and red. Press the projector slide. That's going to grow you some Nat Foul. Daniel Craig, 008. <laughs> Okay, so I just double checked there, make sure that, uh, again, just have a double check if you want, just to make sure that all your clues are all clued up with the flowers, and then we've only got chapter fives left to do. 
Make sure, of course, to grab your Nightfall as well. Since we need to go to the Gatehouse, we'll pop this in the Flower Room. Um, also, if you didn't do the Brook Chalice and the uh, Cradle Fern ones as well, um, if you go ahead and grab those two, that should, I believe, complete the achievement for you. But I'm not doing it yet because I forgot. Plain and simply, I forgot. Sorry! Oki Smoky Chicken Teriyoki, off to the formal garden, and the way we do that is go through the, uh, you can either go through the orchard or you can go through the house, uh, doesn't matter which, uh, but basically if you take a left, sorry, as we come into the main entrance, go through to the rose garden, head down, and then all the way down, and you're basically going to see the gate, which is locked in front of us, that is going to be the formal garden, so we are coming up again quite close now to the end of the game we've got about 20 minutes or so left but this is chapter five the final chapter climbing up first things first have a look at the clue on the bench just next to this gardening thing it's a newspaper article about well news obviously and then what we can do we're gonna head into this sort of rotunda looking thing right here in order to get the next set of seeds this is the Spring Dance Shrub. My name is Mr. Shrub. I like the way Shrub thinks. Mr. Burns. Right, so anyway, go continue on straight forwards into this little gardener's area. There's a telegraph note from Jimmy. Uh, take a left and have a look at the military codes as well. This is another uh, clue. And then uh, just go to the right into this gardener's shed. And then what we're going to need, uh, have a look at the left here for the growing hydrangeas. May I want many hydrangeas? If you know the advert, you know. Um, and then pot catalogue. Basically, there's a specific pot we have to do. And it is this top middle one here. The beige kind of looks like somebody's just made it with sand. So pick that specific one. It has to be this one. Um... Sorry, I did mess this one up first, so please ignore me. But basically, what you're going to do is pop the beige sandy one on, then put some soil in, and then, of course, put the spring dance shrub seed in. There we go, and obviously, water it as well. And it's job done. Apart from it's not job done, because what we're going to do is now pick it up, uh, turn around. Head back into that tiny little gardeny gardener's area, whichever one you want to call it. All the way to the back, pop it on the plate, and then make sure to choose seaweed. That is the important one of what you have to do. As you can see, it changes colour to red. I believe red. And then it's job done. Right, so go ahead, take the spring dance shrub up to the right. Now, what we need to do is... It's not so bad, but it is kind of annoying. So we're going to take this all the way down into what is called the Loggia. I, I assume it's called the Loggia, not the Loggia. Uh, pop this plate down. And if you have a look to the left there, you can see a bird poster. And there's the boathouse key, which we'll just grab in a little bit. So what we're going to do now is if you go straight, you can see the bird seeds. And there is also a bird cage uh, or the bird feeder. Sorry. So what we're basically having to do is trick the bird, uh, if we go all the way to the top of this part where we've seen the bird, uh, we basically have to get the bird from bird feeder to bird feeder until it gets all the way at the bottom. Uh, make sure to pick up the letter about mentoring as well. And if we go to the right, have a look at the bench, pop your bird feeder down somewhere on the bench and pick up the letter from Azel. Ezel, man, get your easel off me, Ezel, now, you son of a bi- Right, so, uh, oh yeah, and we'll just open up this path as well. That gives us a little quicker entrance way to the manor entrance. And pick up these two letters. One is Soil PH Research. And the other one is uh, Pigment Research. Piggy pigs. Man, I love a pig. Okay, so... If we head to the right now, you can see where the bird's singing. So pop the bird feeder down. And then if you keep backing off, there is the next one. Now make sure if you're going to go past the bird, do not look directly at the bird. 
Because if you do that, it scares him off and you have to put him back to the beginning. I actually done this twice, which annoyed me. Um, but these, each of these hooks will be in quite close proximity, so the bird can obviously see it and it'll get to it. So as you can see, if you look at the bird, um, a little startling warning sign comes off. If you keep looking at him, the bird gets startled, it pisses off back to the beginning, and then you're fuming blood. So just keep on going all the way down. Um, if you can, take a sort of wider berth as well, as you see me doing, until we get all the way to the bottom, and that'll grow the spring dance, Mr. Schnurubs. <laughs> Oh man, I think I almost messed that one up, but thank God I didn't. And there is your spring dance shrubs. And uh, well, job done. Let us now go ahead and nip it off into the boathouse. So grab the boathouse key. Spanking your hairy crushingness. Come on. And obviously what we're actually going to do is take this flower back to the manor entrance flower room. So... Go ahead and put the shrub down into the flower room, and then we'll be almost done. Hooray! Right, so back we go. Once you've got that thing, it's only one left that we need now. Oh my goodness me. Cracking. <clears throat> right, so back down. Take a left. And we're going to head into the sort of rotundary looking area. Uh, but if we just go straight and then head up the stairs to our left, we're just going to go ahead and grab a few more clues, basically in order to get everything sort of clued up and finished. There's only a couple of books and a greeting card or a thank you card and of course the fool's emerald seed as well so make sure to pick that up and this is where i'm actually going to finish off the clues so again just uh, fast forward a few seconds and pause it, so just all sort of follow along, which will be fine. But this is pretty much where we are going to get this bit finished. So that should now be all clues relating to all flowers. So once we eventually grow this last flower, um, we'll get the botanical research achievement. So there we go. 
clues all done. Now we can head down into this new area for the first time. First things first, what we're going to do before heading straight into the gate, take a little left here, interact with this painting, and this is the second out of two art lover Arabelle trophies, achievements, whatever they are. Um, so that is the art lover achievement done. Remember, if you're still missing this one, as we grab another, in fact, you don't even have to look for clues anymore because we've done them all. So don't you panic about that. Uh, you can actually go ahead and leave the handle there as well. Uh, I bring it with me for some reason, even though we're going to come back past this way anyway. But uh, yeah, in terms of the other painting, remember that it is in the painting room in the manor. Um, if you were missing that one. Otherwise, what we'll do is head down. I'm going to get another couple of achievements. The last duck is here as well so I just pop the handle down again don't need it so don't worry take a look to your left and this is where the Egyptian goose is and he's all like hey bruh get out of my side man you got your quack 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 and we're like ah right, bruh side bruh I'll eat you and your family later bruh uh, so go ahead go to the right and this is the telegraph box now we're gonna get another achievement here so if you press uh, a there you can see the SOS so what you need to do is click the dots the left hand side dots three times then the right hand side dashes three times and then the dots three times again that'll give you the SOS code in Morse code and give you the achievement for help although it does take a little time to unlock for me right now Oh, thank God for that. Right, so then once that one's done, we head up. Um, we're just going to go into this little boathouse. It is the only boathouse. Um, again, I do keep having a look at things, even though, like I said, we've got all clues sorted, so you don't actually need to. This is the Oscillate Titi. The Oscillate. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, no. I've lied. I've lied. I've gotten ahead of myself. No, we haven't finished the clues just yet. We haven't finished the clues, so that is why we are grabbing the rest of the clues here. Um, my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, they, they, well, these cars don't actually do anything, but sorry, I got ahead of myself again. Oh, man, God, do I suck donkey nuts. Right, so once you've grabbed, um, looked at everything in this room, we can actually head, uh, oh, we'll just open up that way. That just gets us up to the Rose Garden a little bit quicker if you need it. Uh, so go ahead, put some soil in, and this time we're going to interact with the Ocelot. Plant the water in. And the Ocelot, what we're going to do, pick that up, head back up to the boathouse. And then you're going to place this just next to the old gramophone, sonophone right here. Now, there are five which we're going to grab, and the one we need is the one with uh, uh, 120 RPM, which is the middle one of the three here on the windowsill. Should always be the same for you. So pop that one in, the phonograph. Sorry, that's what it's called. Uh, just double check there. Yes, that's all good. Then go ahead, press the A button, and that is the oscillate done. Okay, now we're going to sort out, <coughs> excuse me, now we're going to sort out all the clues. So again, pause the video here or just follow along. This will be the Fool's Emerald bunch of clues done. Obviously, we haven't got the Fool's Emerald plant yet, so we won't get the botanical research just yet. But now we're going to do the Ocelot, which now should be the final four. Um, so once you've popped these in, all clues should be good. And now, once we do the Fool's Emerald plant... 
we should get the Botanical Research Achievement, finally. Um, so, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. So, now, what it's worth doing... Um, now, I go ahead and grab the Ocelot because... Um, oh, in fact, I was going to pop this one on the thing, but I'm not actually going to bother. Now, the reason why I said leave the handle in the other place is because we need to grab the telegraph with us. Um, it's sort of only... I could have probably done this bit a little better, um, but really it only takes about 30 seconds or so sort of out of your way anyway. So whatever the way it is, if, if you bring the telegraph up, whatever, but we need to grab the handle, go back up to this sort of main area. And as you can see, we are going to pop this right on the fountain. That's going to put the way up for us. The lily pads will be going and that's job done. <clears throat> Excuse me again. It's a little bit coffee up in here, a little smoky bacon, never hurt anyone. But all we need to do now is basically get the telegraph, the thing that we use the SOS most Morse code on, and put it in this um, particular area, and then grab the Fool's Emerald plant, and also put it in here as well. So uh, that's all we're going to do for the next part. So go ahead, go to your seed inventory table. Uh, plant a Fool's Emerald and put it in the little ghetto section. I think it's called the ghetto section. And no, I'm not saying girl in Scottish. Ghetto. Ghetto. So yeah, if you ever wanted to learn Scottish, just say, uh, just say, uh, gir uh, just say ghetto. Ghetto. Say it really fast. Ghetto. Well done, everyone. You're now Scottish. Okay, so pop the Fool's Emerald in, put it on this plate, and then what we're going to do is head all the way back down to the boat section... Boathouse and grab the Telegraph Morse code, broski brosk. And now this time then, we have to do K and A. So whatever K is and A, so it's dot, then dash, or no, dash, then dot, sorry. And then dash, then dot, and then dash again. That's going to grow the Fool's Emerald, and that will is what will, is as what will get you popping blood. So that's the Fool's Emerald, and because we've popped all the clues down on our way as well, you should get the completing all the plants in the Herbarium achievement. So make sure to pick up the Fool's Emerald. What we're going to do then, before heading back to the gatehouse to end this, we are going to go back to the entrance manor and um, put the... Uh, this should be the... Fun you might have already got this achievement if you got the uh, Cradle Fern and all that earlier as well, but if not... Grab this one, pop this one down, and this should get you the flower arranging achievement as well. Um, but if you're still yet to grab this, either go and get another windmill wart or two, however many left you need, or go upstairs into the master bedroom. Because um, I think it was two that I managed to leave up there. The brook chalice one from upstairs and one in the uh, bathroom. But otherwise, once you've got everything and you're all good, go ahead, post the herbarium. You should now only have one achievement left. 
even if you accidentally have done this bit and you've still got something else to do, honestly it's fine because when you press continue at the main menu, you'll just continue at this point. So you really don't miss anything unless you've clicked a new game. Um, but it's not quite done yet, so what we're going to do, if you can either have a look at all the credits or press the right bumper twice in order to just skip the credits. And it's a year later and apparently we're like some kind of teacher or something now. So in order to just finish the epilogue, uh, don't bother looking at any books. We're going to head all the way down to the left, interact with this letter. And she says, my dear sister, sorry that uh, balls got cut off or something. Put the book down. And that is the final achievement. The end. Thank you very much. Sorted. So there we go, guys and gals. That was the very chill vibed and very awesome Botany Manor. 36 out of 36 achievements should be done. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you so much again. I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love!